Hi, I'm Ming from Ming Coaching. I'm a relationship coach based in the Los Angeles area, and I help people become confident in what they bring to any relationship, whether it's friendship, family, work, or romantic relationships. So recently, something unpleasant happened to me. I was um, approached by somebody who was trying to sell me a service for my business. And uh, normally, I'm... Uh, clear about my goals, whether it's personal or professional, and um, I'm confident in what I can decide about these services, but this person was extremely pushy and I felt pressured. So um, I wanted to share with you some of the things that helped me to get out of this unpleasant situation and to get back to center on the things that I wanted to do uh, moving forward. So um, if somebody is pressuring you, you know, it could be in a, all kinds of situations. Um, you know, it could be a friend pressuring you to just go and join them in something. Um, it could be a romantic partner pressuring you by um, ignoring your signs that you want to keep physical boundaries. Um, it could be, you know, somebody who in a professional setting is trying to pressure you to uh, do something or give them something that would help their um, status in the in the company that they're working for. So um, just different things. But uh, one thing that I noticed today when I was being pressured was um, that I felt in my body that things were wrong. So um, the first sign that you're being pressured and um, a cue to do something about it is your body will start to resist. Um, you know, you might get this yucky feeling or your intuition just feels like something is off. And um, I suggest really listening to your body, making sure that uh, you check in with yourself. Like if you just get this yucky, creepy feeling from the person, pay attention to that. Um, I'm talking to all you kind and nice people and uh, people pleasers, um, those who tend to um, you know flex when other people push on your boundaries. But um, you know, even if, if someone is pressuring to you for something and it's just a like a situation, not even a physical pressure, you can feel that in your body because your body is responding to that stress. So I suggest um, really paying attention to that. Number two, um, is to really examine the other person's motives. Why are they um, so intent on getting you to do a certain thing or give them something? Um, whether it's your time, energy, your money, um, you know, uh, even your, you know, your gifts and talents that you have to offer. So um, examine why would they, why would they keep pressuring you for this, and uh, what would they lose if you said no? Um, that really helps me to determine what I'm going to do with this individual. Um, another thing is I like to kind of um, create the end of the scenario and follow the story to the unhappy ending if things didn't work out with um, what this person is promising or asking of you. So, um, you know, in this case, uh, this person was trying to sell me a service and, um, I, you know, their promises were that it would be so beneficial for me but I just watched the narrative to the bitter end of, you know, what would happen if uh, hypothetically I didn't get the return on what they wanted me to buy. And, um, you know, usually the person who's pressuring you will be long gone by the time the end of the story comes around. So you'll be left all alone and, you know, think, are you okay with that uh, conclusion? Are you okay with the, the repercussions, the consequences of making that choice? And um, finally, I would ask for time from this individual that's pressuring you because, um, you know, one clear sign that they don't have your best interests in mind is that they're going to not like that you want to take time and they're going to feel threatened by it and continue to pressure you even further not to take that time. So they won't take no for an answer. They'll, um, you know, they'll even pick apart why you want to take time and show you that that's really um, not going to benefit you. And, you know, while you're asking for time, you want to take some space from this external pressure to make your own choices and to start to have the confidence that you have everything you need to make a good choice. You have your intellect, you have your whole breadth of experience, um, you have your intuition, uh, which will really guide you if you learn to master it and listen to it.
So um, these are all things that can help if you're feeling pressured in any situation or in any relationship in your life. Um, I'd love to help you with any um, issues that you're facing in your life. Feel free to contact me. Thanks.